We're here with members of the DeSales University Bulldogs, who just had a 78-52 win over Cortland in the first round of the NCAA championship. From left to right, Michaela Reese, head coach Frank Richter, and Avery Jordan. Coach, can you make a statement about the game? Sure. Um, one of the things we thought we had to do was make sure that they didn't get to do what they wanted to do, and defense is what we do. So we worked very hard on taking them out of their dribble drive to the rim and kicks for threes. Um, and we wanted to take advantage of what we do after we play defense, and that's run the floor for layups. And um, as much as I thought um, we would have trouble with it because they're a very good team, there were a lot of times where I was very pleased with, uh, with uh, not necessarily the ease, but maybe the, uh, the skill of which we got it done. Questions? Avery, um, this is your fourth NCAA tournament game. You're the lone senior on the court. Um, talk about your quick start. You made your first four shots, three threes. One was real deep. Um, talk about that and maybe was that your mindset coming in, knowing that you had a younger team along with you to try to get them, ease them into the game? Yeah, obviously I know I'm a, the senior, the lone senior on the court. Um, I've been here now. This is my third time. Freshman year, uh, we made it to the Sweet 16. So uh, going in this game, I kind of knew I had that experience and that extra confidence since this is my third NCAA tournament. And you know, I just wanted to do my part and you know encourage the girls and uh, get the ball rolling and just uh, instill some confidence in the younger classmen. And I think the first half was great, and in the second half, uh, the younger girls did become more confident, and it really paid off. Mikey, uh, kind of on that on that same topic, you started two for nine. I looked down at the stats, you were two for nine. Then I looked back at it later on, and you had made your seven of your next eight shots. So did you kind of settle in? Were there some nerves at the beginning? And seeing Avery's quick start, did that kind of help you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm always a little bit nervous in the beginning of the games. And so um, Avery really radiates positive energy, and that just reflects on everyone else. So when she, you know, she keeps her composure, and that just makes me feel at ease, and that really helps me just, you know, make my shots and know that I am confident and that everyone else, um, is confident in me too, which really helps me um, make my shots done. Coach, um, you kind of touched on the two things that I wrote down, but talk about how much how much value it is to have someone like Avery, your four, grab a rebound and be able to push it up the court, and then you know, Mikey, your five, be able to run the court almost faster than anybody that's out there. Uh, it's been very beneficial to what we've tried to do this year. We uh, don't get the turnovers we used to with our full court pressure. We we haven't doubled in a in a few games, but what we've done to take its place is get rebounds, get outlets. Our four is allowed to dribble out. Mikey's allowed to dribble out two or three dribbles before I get too excited. <laughs> but uh, she makes great outlets as well. And then, and Mikey fills in lanes as well as anybody that we've seen all year. She uh, has speed, she has a high hand, and that's what we aim for. And uh, she finishes, and then she gets back and plays the best offensive player on the other side and does a heck of a job defensively as well. I know you love to talk about defense. All year long, you guys have been ranked in the top 20 in field goal percentage defense. First half today, you held them to 27% in the first quarter and 11% in the second quarter. And that's obviously kind of when the game was won and that run at the end of the half. Coach, just talk about your defense, not even just today, the whole season, especially today on the perimeter, knowing that they wanted to shoot a lot of threes. Yeah. We, I, I think our young ladies really get the idea that we can pressure without fouling. And we now have a, a cushion that we understand that people can't turn the corner on us. And this was probably the best team we played all year trying to turn the corner on us. They really were, and they had some shooters. But as we talked about, our full court press may not uh, garner as many uh, turnovers as it has in the past. What it does is makes them start further out than the offensive sets. And the first couple handoffs they got, it was handoff shoot. After that, it was handoff, oh my goodness, we're out too far to shoot. And that's what we tried, really tried to do a little better job with, and I think we did. Uh, two more, one for each of you guys. Mikey. What was your first experience like? NCAA tournament, playing in a gym which they have Sweet 16, Elite, ba Elite 8, National Runner-Up banners hanging in there. What was, your, what was it like? I mean, it's surreal. I mean, it's such a great opportunity to be here. And it's even better because I get to spend it with the people I enjoy playing with and love. And we're all just, we always emphasize that we're just a big family. And so, you know, having just this experience and experiencing with the people is, it's been surreal. I, it's been so much fun. And, yeah. <laughs> Avery, uh, looking ahead a little bit to tomorrow, uh, your freshman year, you guys won two games at mm -hmm. home. You got to go to the Sweet 16, lost in a heartbreaker at the, at the last seconds. Uh, played again in the sophomore, lost first round. Last year, all wiped out because of COVID. You're a senior. You get to play tomorrow with a chance to go back to the Sweet 16, just like you did as a freshman year. Mm -hmm. 
What's that mean to you? Uh, obviously, it's always been on the forefront of my mind since freshman year. Uh, we had every chance to make it to the Elite Eight, the first team ever to do it. So uh, leaving, you know, Bowdoin in Maine my freshman year, I've always kind of wanted to go back and make it to the Sweet 16 again and possibly even further. And I personally believe that we have the capability and the team and the togetherness to make it there. So to be able to come back here uh, as a senior my final year and have that opportunity, it's amazing. And, you know, we always focus one game at a time. Obviously, uh, we got today done and we're looking forward to tomorrow. And you know, together we just need to focus and, you know, get rested and hydrated and eat eat uh, good tonight and go into tomorrow and get it done and, you know, make a run in the Sweet 16, which is what I wanted to do since my freshman year. Cool. Good. All right. Well, thank you very much and congrats thank on the you. win. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.